Odie et Am. I hate and I love. Those famous first three words of his 85th poem are as appropriate as any to start an introduction to the poetry of Gaius Valerius Catullus. Referred to most often as simply Catullus, this poet of the late Roman Republic employed technical mastery to reveal raw, often conflicting emotions about love that were rarely expressed in ancient literature. Catullus's most conflicted emotions and most accomplished poems about love were inspired by his tumultuous relationship with a married woman whom he calls Lesbia. Your textbook, The Norton Anthology of World Literature, contains 15 of these poems about Catullus's affair with Lesbia. If you're wondering, yes, Catullus meant that invented name to serve as a tribute to the island of Lesbos, home of Sappho, the earlier Greek poet who was a profound influence on the later Roman poet. Like Sappho, Catullus attempts to elevate love to the level of war as a suitable subject for poetry. While the emotions expressed in Catullus's Carmina, a Latin term that translates to both poems and songs, do translate well into English, I should mention that they are even more powerful in the original Latin. So much so, Catullus's poems are still used to teach students the Latin language. That is how I first discovered the poetry of Catullus, as a college freshman studying the Latin language. The raw emotions he expressed so poetically and so powerfully made such an impact on me then that more than 20 years later, I still have my handwritten attempts at translations of some of his Carmina. Catullus's Carmina continued to inspire artists much more accomplished than me, more than 2,000 years after his death. As an example, I have included a link to composer and conductor Eric Whitaker's arrangement of the contemporary pop song Wrecking Ball, combined with the ancient elegiac couplet Poem 85. If you listen carefully, the choir is singing the words of Poem 85, starting out with the words Odi et Amo in the original Latin. Whitaker explains, I thought his ancient poem was the perfect counterpoint to the lyrics of Wrecking Ball. Whether you agree with Whitaker that it is a perfect complement to Wrecking Ball, I hope that you too appreciate the ancient art of Catullus. I'll end with another famous three-word phrase from Catullus 101, Awe Aque Wale. In other words, hail and farewell.